Hi there, this is Dave Hompez from uh, www.h-pylori-symptoms.com and a very quick video today to just uh, discuss uh, a very important topic, one which I receive a lot of inquiries about, which is uh, triple therapy. And if you don't know what triple therapy is, it's the major frontline um, therapy that doctors prescribe when people have, or you have, or I have H. pylori. And um, it's quite controversial. It's becoming more and more controversial for a number of reasons. Um, first, let me just tell you what triple therapy is in case you don't know. It's called triple therapy because it involves you taking three different medications. Two of the medications are uh, different types of antibiotic, which are designed to kill the H. pylori. And the third medication is an antacid medication, which blocks the production of stomach acid, um, the idea being that that actually helps the antibiotics to work better, and it might also remove some of the heartburn and reflux symptoms that people suffer with as well. Um, typical brand names for, uh, for the antacids are uh, things like um, uh, Nexium, Prilosec, Provacid, uh, Zantac, things like that. They, so they may work in a slightly different way, but essentially they do the same thing. And I get so many emails and uh, speak to so many people on the phone about their experiences with triple therapy that I've got quite a good understanding. I'm not, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not making any recommendations. I'm just telling you what my experience is here. Um, people seem to have different reactions to the antibiotics um, and the antacids. Some people get very severe side effects. Some people find that their symptoms go away but then come back after they finish the course of antibiotics. Uh, some people sail through the course of antibiotics and they never have any problems again. Okay, so I don't know where you fit into that, but if you are having difficulty, maybe you've tried the antibiotics and it hasn't resolved your problem, or you couldn't take them because you had side effects that, that uh, meant that you couldn't complete the course, um, then you know, just to let you know, there are some natural alternatives available if you want to explore that route. So just because that door has been shut through the antibiotics doesn't mean you can't do something else. Typically, when I was trawling through the very, very, I must admit, very, very boring and dull uh, literature on um, antibiotic therapies in the, uh, the digestive journals and the, the helicobacter journals and things like that, typically what we found was that there was very, a great variety in the efficacy or the, or the success rate when people use these uh, medications in the studies. Some studies showed that um, these combinations of drugs only had a 50% success rate. Some said they were as high as 90%, and it seems to depend on the population that is being studied. Is it in Japan? Is it in Brazil? Is it in the UK? Where, you know, where is it? Uh, maybe the strain of H. pylori that they're trying to kill, um, and things like that. So there are lots of different variables, but typically 50 to 80% is roughly where the efficacy rate is now, which is not that high. If you take antibiotics for something, I think you really want to know um, that you're going to have a better uh, chance of success than 50%. Um, the side effects that these medications can cause are very far and wide ranging. Things like uh, nausea, diarrhea, digestive pain, complications, depression, difficulty sleeping, um, you know, you name it, it can, th these medications can cause them. So you just got to be a little bit careful. And um, that's not to say that they're bad for everybody. I'm not trying to just slate them or make them seem as though they are uh, wrong or anything like that. But just to make you aware that if you're trying to decide what kind of course of action to take if you know you have H. pylori, be aware that the triple therapy may not work. It may not work. It may work perfectly. Who, who knows? It may not work. And there is a chance of having quite a lot of side effects from taking the medications. Um, if you're interested in natural alternatives, there are some more videos on my, uh, on my YouTube channel that you can have a look at. Um, or alternatively, please feel free to visit my website, which is h hyphen pylori-symptoms.com and there's tons of information that you can get uh, access to there. Um, hope this has been helpful for you. My name's Dave Hompez and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.